Whew. Good evening. Oh my gosh. How is everybody doing? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Let me see if I can get a few of you. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Hi. <laughs> So you adopt, hi, how are you? Hello, 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 hello. Infusions number uno. I'm still, hi Licky. I'm still stuck to this chair for whew, how many more hours? I think we are halfway now, right? Two, two more hours plus. No, we're halfway, maybe that's an hour, but then we also have an hour. So two hours, you have two more hours to go. I am tired. So yeah, how is everybody doing? Hi Falela, Mambo. Yeah, me Nikopon, I'm okay, I'm just, uh, I don't even know, I'm tired. This chair of mine, you see it right here? Um, yeah, so let me see whether you guys can see. And Ashley will be passing by, I'm right there. So I have like that remaining and I have an hour of hydration. So, hi Shea, long time, hi Millicent, how is everybody doing? Yeah, I'm just tired here, you know, I get tired, I start, I started, <laughs> I started undoing my hair, so, um, and Ashley is mad because she told me, you only kept them for three weeks, yeah, so, but, yeah. But I'm also working, so I'm just taking a short break. Taking a short break to look at Ashley watch, uh, watching me. Hi, uh, hi, hi, RJ. Yes. So, hi. I'm just, you know, here to show you guys how, you know, what lupus is like, I guess. Um, I'm not complaining. It's just a long, long, long day. So, they changed my dose from 60 milligrams to 80 so it has like it, it added like uh, more time to my infusions I have been here since 9 ish um, so yeah so that is what is going on anyway what's up what's up I have not been coming live as much what's up my people hi Jerry if I've not said hi to you hi and um, you know the reason I take a break to do a live when I'm here is because I am confined to that little chair. So little you can't even see. Yeah, to this chair for like eight hours. The only thing I can do is drag my IV, go to either the bathroom, and come back and sit down on the chair and just continue with infusion. So I work as I do this just because it grounds me and uh it makes me forget it's just like my therapy work is therapy for me hi love you love you love you love you guys so much yeah so that is what is going on um other than that um what else nothing much just um thanking god and you know yeah she she's actually watching i saw her here somewhere she's watching she i'll tell her she, you guys said hello she appreciates <laughs> see Ashley is commenting she's saying I'm an a workaholic I work way too much and uh, I love it um, I actually love working because it's like therapy um, I usually tell you guys uh, for those who watch my videos continuously you have to look for a reason for a reason to continue fighting so that reason is usually Ashley and you have to look for some strength from somewhere <laughs> Um, you know, so that strength is usually you guys and from God, because again, without you guys and without God, I don't think I'll be where I am right now. So thank you so much. So yeah, so it's work, 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 work. And, um, so today, let me tell you, so my body has started, I don't even know what is going on. Like really ser seriously, uh, these autoimmune diseases are usually unpredictable. <laughs> So like um, last time, I ended up having a fever immediately after the infusions. Okay, this time around, I started having a migraine today. Like today, in the beginning, 
the moment they did that i started having migraines so um my body is reacting differently and my body is responding differently and my body has different allergies and it, it's <laughs> it's so it's so crazy but again as i said i'm not complaining i'm just here to let you guys know how lupus scrotoma is like and what we have to go through to just you know to just um to just make it through the day um you you know i think the biggest the biggest thing is for me for me uh, to keep on going is just holding on to god and holding on to faith and just leaning on to my best friends and family and just seeking you know seeking guidance from god and just holding my friends and family's hands and looking for encouragement from there i think that is the biggest thing that i do that keeps me going excuse me when i come online and i vent and i post my stuff i'm not posting those for anything but educational and for you guys to see my journey it's like a documentation of my journey because two years from now i will look at how far i have come and i'm gonna be proud and i'm gonna give a testimony about it you know what i mean so that is why i share my journey i share my journey so that somebody who is going through the same thing or a different thing or somebody who is going through a tough time can be able to find some you know um some strength so that is why i share my journey i share my journey i'm putting a charger on I share my journey so that somebody can be encouraged. I share my journey so that those who are fighting lupus with me and they're having a hard time, some of them are in the hospital, some of them are at home sick, some of them, you know, they, they are almost giving up so that you don't give up, so that you can see someone else is going through the same thing that you're going through. These infusions are brutal. For anybody who does infusions, you know how it is. They are brutal, and for a for a for, for a fact that I have started having migraines today, it looks like it's gonna be a long, 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 long weekend. But it's okay because without these infusions, I would not be where I am today. You know what I mean? So, what has changed in my body since the last time I shared about the changes? I will show you, but uh, my talk today is not very my talk today is very revealing because i have to wear something that uh, is easy for the nurses to get to so i'm so i wore a jacket so that you guys don't see my girls but if you see if i turn to my right see the tightness in my neck so that is you you're gonna see how tight my neck is and that is how scroll doma has changed me uh it's not something that i usually like i have become so so sensitive to my self-esteem i'll mute my whatever i'll mute um sorry guys i was just muting my notifications so that you don't hear them coming in so if i turn to my right uh, my right side you can see how tight this is this is all scroll doma like this is scroll doma and uh tomorrow i might come in on live and show you the changes on my chest area right now um i don't want to show my boobies out in public because i know my top is kind of revealing today but it's like i scratch and it's i might be able to show a little bit i scratch and my skin will turn white and now like look at that look that is crawled on um so it's like becoming so hard every single day like there's so much change that you guys cannot see but i can feel every single day but that is why like having a reason to fight is very important to me because i can see the changes i can feel the changes they are not reversible but having something to look forward to and having something that i fight for is very important to me so that i can be able to just fight every day every day i keep on fighting and let me see i have not seen your comments anybody saying anything um let me see your comments so how was everybody's new year's uh, whatever get ice in that child and go call, go call. <laughs> yes to... thank you thank you don't thank you i am fighting I, I yeah you know yeah so that is why i show my journey i show my journey because everybody with an autoimmune disease the journey is different 
my journey is different from any share share washington thank you share this video onto the group so that we can encourage people in the group too if you don't mind so uh for me the most biggest thing like i used to have like so much self-esteem issues i could not wear a short sleeve i could hide i even tried putting makeup on i'm not even a makeup kind of a person i even tried putting makeup on so i can hide like the blemishes on my face it's turning white you can see that i i tried all that but it it's not worthwhile um i just realized that my journey is very special to me it's very unique not not special it's very unique to me and the very way i go through the journey three years four years to come i'll have seen how far i have come and how far i have fought and how hard i have fought so everything else at that moment is not gonna matter everything else is not gonna make sense so because of the fight that i have been fighting so to be honest with you the last couple of months have been so hard like so 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 hard like i have had it very rough now i'm tearing i'm tearing up i i have had it so 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 rough that i had to take a step back from doing the live videos as much as i i, I had been doing them because I could not even find time to do them because I'm dealing with just so much. Like the fatigue, right now I'm so anemic. I'm like, I'm gonna be coming back because they cannot combine this today with infusions, uh, with iron. So I have to come back to get iron infusions and I will do those once a week times six weeks and then they will do uh, another set of it. So it's like, it's one thing after the other, one thing after the other and one thing after the other. But what this journey is teaching me is that, excuse me, fighting is not an option. Fighting is not usually an option. So you have to fight, 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 fight. You have to find a reason why you're fighting as hard. You know what I mean? So anywho, Ashley, they said hi. You're back. Oh, sorry. I said, oh, I was what reading comments. Didn't you see that me and Falela? We okay so ashley is saying hi and she said she's seeing the comments so that again you know that's my nurse over here she's doing her school she's doing school virtually and she's also here with me so she's also working as she keeps me company so that is our routine that is what we are doing right now so parting short parting word of the day regardless of what you're going through in life make sure that you don't give up you know i say that every time don't give up regardless of how hard it might be don't give up regardless of what you're fighting everybody is fighting a battle that we don't know nothing about do not give up keep fighting do not give up before your breakthrough i usually say that mostly in all my videos or almost all of them do not give up right before your breakthrough because most of the time when we give up it's just right before the breakthrough yeah so just keep on fighting there's nothing you know keep on fighting fight as hard as you can hold on to faith and god will hold your hand all right so i will see you guys probably tomorrow depending on whether i need a break or not from these infusions um and uh, so I'm just like really like right now just taking a break from work and I thought I'd jump in here and just, you know, try to encourage somebody fighting an autoimmune disease, tell you that my fight, I'm still fighting, you know, um, I have gained so much weight. I don't think I have broken from steroids. They actually gave me just, uh, they actually gave me some Solimedro today. So go figure. Yeah, they usually give me Solimedro IV. Uh, during before infusion so that is what is going on thank you Mimi and that is what I'm trying to say what I'm saying is everybody has a journey that nobody knows about for me I do mine publicly but other people might not be able to share their journeys on here or any social media they might not even be able to talk to a friend because of how ashamed they are of their journey or how embarrassed they are of their journey or how serious their journey is you know but every journey 
is worth worthwhile and mine i do it publicly i come here and share my journey with you guys because i feel like that is a way for me to vent or whatever or to educate or share away spread awareness i do that but whatever journey you're going through whatever you're going through just keep on fighting yours is different from mine almost the same with mine for those people who are fighting autoimmune diseases lupus and scrawldoma etc etc it could be the same but it's still different so keep on fighting that is what i can say today keep on fighting let god hold your hand so yeah so i'm here um yeah and to remind you guys if you have not got a t-shirt or a hoodie and the way it's cold outside man call me or inbox me i will send it your way all right talk to you later bye